Hello there. In this video I'm going to show an unboxing of my new Brielle Altair 8800 kit. First a little background about the kit. The Brielle Altair 8800 is a replica of the original Altair 8800 computer. Introduced in 1975, the original Altair was one of the first computers that could be built by a hobbyist. And in fact, Microsoft's first consumer product was a version of BASIC for the Altair. Vince Brielle has been selling a replica of the Altair 8800 for a few years. As the front panels require some custom manufacturing, the kits are built and offered in batches. Late last year, he started taking pre-orders for the fourth batch of the kits, and I placed my order for a kit. He also sells fully assembled systems. I also ordered the optional RAM disk that emulates two floppy disk drives and allows the system to run the CPM operating system. I hope to make a series of YouTube videos showing assembly of the kit and operation of the computer. But to start, I thought I would make a short unboxing video. So I've just received the kit in the mail after making its long journey from California here to Ottawa, Canada. So let's take a look at what's inside. Got lots of Canada Customs paperwork here. Let's take a look inside. So it looks like everything's actually pretty much inside the case. And we'll open it up. So here's the CD-ROM with the software and assembly instructions. Now the replica is a little smaller than the real Altair. There was quite a large case that had slots with the uh, S100 bus and a large power supply. So this is a little smaller, but it's a reasonably close replica to the way the original Altair looked on the front panel. Uh, something new, in fact, with this uh, build of kits is uh, a little label on the bottom here that a little more closely resembles the original Altair. Let's see what's inside here. Looks like we're going to need to unscrew the case to get it open. Lots of parts inside. So again, there's the front panel and a rear panel with some cutouts for various connectors. And we'll just set these aside. We've got a spacer here that looks like this may have come off in shipping. So that's something we have to put back with a hot melt glue. Though I'm not really sure where it comes from yet. So let's see, inside we've got a couple of uh, printed circuit boards. This would be for the front panel. It's got the circuitry for the front panel, all the LEDs. And then another circuit board for the main board for the computer. So these are look like very nice professionally uh, silk screened, solder masked, um, fiberglass printed circuit boards. Look like the usual good quality of Vince's kits. We get some ribbon cables, connectors, LEDs, 
capacitors. So I suspect this is uh, mostly things on the front panel. Front panel switches. Not quite like the original Altair, a little smaller. And lots of ICs here of various sizes. So I know it actually has two processors on it. It's got a uh, microcontroller that emulates the original 8080 processor and it has a propeller chip that takes care of things like the video and the keyboard interface. IC sockets. More chips and sockets. And there's another socket here. And this, I believe, is the kit for the optional RAM disk. So it's another printed circuit board, a battery holder for the battery backup, and the circuitry for it. Uh, and this actually uses an SD card that you supply and it emulates two floppy drives with a battery backup so they're non-volatile. And this will be something new in this uh, fourth build of the kits. He's added an external serial port to the system so that you can have an actual serial port for uh, printer or terminal, I imagine. And there's a, a small circuit board here that connects, does some of the uh, level shifting to uh, RS-232 levels and a jack. And it looks like there's a cutout on the back of the board. So next step will be uh, inventorying all the parts, make sure I've got them all here, organizing them a little bit, and uh, taking a look at the assembly manual. It comes on CD-ROM. I'd like to uh, make hard copies of it so I can make notes and check things off as I uh, work on the assembly. So I hope to make another YouTube video on the assembly process and then some additional ones as I get to uh, getting the, the unit operating. So I hope you found this interesting. As my first unboxing video and stay tuned for future videos as I get more progress on building the system.